Okay, so we are back in game, and this is what the skin looks like. Pretty cool in game. The wings are cool as well. A little basic attack animation. Check out his dash. Oh, I like the uh, the effects on that. His two is really cool as well. They all have that uh, sizzle, that, that lightning sizzle to it. And his ultimate, which I'm gonna have to use on myself. Oh, but you can see how cool it looks there. And the little logo is pretty cool too. It gets the timer when it's about to wear off. So that is pretty cool. Check out the one here when we grab somebody. What someone infected looks like. That's actually pretty cool. You can actually tell a lot when they are affected by that. And be stunned. Same with that one. So that are it. those are the Kepri abilities. We're gonna jump to the next one, which should be on her. All right, so we have a look at the on her skin. And before I jump into it, I think the next skin we do, which should be Neath, I'm going to show you the loading screen because I do have activated. It is a loading frame that you can see. Um, and actually, I don't know if the ward. I'll buy a ward real quick and see. But I don't think. Um, All part of the plan. I have yeah, it's just a regular ward activated. So never mind. Can't see that, but there is a ward. I'm pretty sure, and I'll show you the loading frame. Uh, if I remember beneath here are the in hands for on her really cool sound effect to them. They look cool as well. Take a look at the Odin bot A little effect to them Take a look at the one. Whoa, okay. What is this? this is the what? That's so awesome All right, that's super cool. I'm not even gonna lie. What does the inhale look like? What? Did you hear that effect? That was so cool <laughs> Wow, all right, dude, this, this, uh, what does this alt look like? That's awesome. This is like, a, this is a Star Wars skin. I'm calling this the Star Wars on her. The effects, they just, they get me. It sounds way too much like Star Wars to me. Wow, yeah, but that's really cool skin. I, I really enjoy these effects. Alt's just crazy, <laughs> and this, I think this is the most honest. It's literally control. just this pillar, but it looks so cool. Wow, alright, so we're not gonna talk about that, and Pale <laughs> completely slipped on my mouse there. Uh, jumping to the next one, which should be Neath, if I believe. Alright, so here is the loading screen. This is what I was talk about. That is what the loading card looks like. It's a brief, really brief. You can rewind spun. it, of course. I can't do that. Um, so that's just what that looks like. Uh, we'll do this real quick. I usually skip this part so you guys don't have to see this. But, uh, that sucks. You're gonna have to now. <laughs> I don't know why I'm going back here like I'm starting a video, but I am. So we'll take a look at her basics real quick. They sound the same. They changed on hers, but they kept the way Neath sounded, I think. Maybe a little different thing. The effect right there is different, however. Whoa. That's really cool. That's super, super cool, I'm not gonna lie. This, this whole theme, I'm taking back everything I said. I may not be crazy about the skins themselves, but the effects on all these are really cool. Anything electronic or futuristic, when it comes to a skin, the effects are just cool. That's just how it is. I don't know, what's the best? <laughs> Next one. Yeah, so all that's pretty, pretty cool. I don't take a look at the old. <gasps> yeah, I forgot about this part. The coolest part of it. This, uh, they were talking about this, and I forget what they called this, but it, it's like another, uh, yeah, it's super cool. It's the best part about it. Uh, the alt, I think. This is just, the best part about the skin, honestly. It's, it, I think it's just, it's subtle, but it's like, uh, the Anubis Tier 5, a global emote. It's just, I mean, you only see this, but, like, I just think this looks really, really cool. Maybe I'm big into, like, space and stars, and that just looks cool to me. I don't know. Has decided. Oh, that doesn't even aggro raw. <laughs> okay. Maybe just one more time. I'm not done with you. I don't have any mana. That's why my two didn't go off. Okay, but yeah, next skin. We are jumping into. We did Sneath on her and Cabri. We have Bastet and Thoth. We'll go to Bastet first, and then we'll go to Thoth. Even though Thoth was technically the last one I reviewed, he's in limited skins, so I'll just save him for last, because I got a feeling we might be in for a treat. All right, we are back with Bastet, and as much as this god pisses me off, skin looks pretty cool. 
I don't know if the footsteps are all like that for the other ones, or I just missed it. Um, she kind of reminds me of a Stormtrooper from behind. Maybe that's just me. Obviously, Stormtroopers aren't cats, but um, besides that, we'll take a look at what her hands look like. I think I showed knees. I remember doing that. Take a look at the one. Whoa. You can't escape. So that was cool. Okay, what is it, two? <laughs> More basic one, not many effects on that, just uh, some sound effects. The three, that was pretty cool. And we'll take a look at the ultimate here. Let's put it on this poor Odin. Those are the cats. Why don't I want a lot of mana when I go for that last ability? But that is the skin. I'm gonna check out the abilities one more time just because they were kind of fast. Um, let's take a look at the jump again. I like that landing effect. I wonder if it lands. I'll it. Set the it doesn't. The two. Which is really simple there. And then the three. We'll take a look at that without hitting Odin. Kind of what it looks like all the way through. So the last one, and hopefully not least, I doubt it is the worst one. The Thoth skin. The limited one. Pretty hyped about this. Should be pretty cool. Just to, just by how the rest of these have looked. And considering I wasn't a big fan of this whole skin theme to start with. I don't know. It's winning me over. Alright, so we have Thoth. Uh, the walking animation, so cool. Especially because of Thoth's walking animation as it is already being cool. One of the slowest looking ones in the game with Zeus, though. Um, just him walking in that, that's... It, he walks the same speed, but it's, it's just that he's like walking on air. And that effect below is really cool. His in-hands are really cool. Let's take a look at his in-hands. Oh yeah, this is cool. Okay, look at this one here. That looks like we charge it up. The two. Oh, I don't have this on Insta Cast, which I should, but I don't. That's what that looks like. We're gonna hit that without the um, without a god. Yeah, we'll take a look at the four. Now I want to get out of here because I want to show you something. If you didn't look at the patch notes and you didn't see my video, which you definitely should have, I don't know why you didn't watch that. Um, the ultimate now, every time, basically, this is what you would see. Being in lane against the Thal, and they do that. Throw you off your game. Don't know when you're going to ult them, they can't expect it. But look at his mana, they change it. Every time you just start his ult, you start it up, 30 mana. If you cancel it, doesn't matter, 30 mana. So yeah, come late game, it's not going to matter, but look at right there, that's just a couple times, and I'm, I was almost down to half. If a Thoth wants to mess with you in lane at level 4, and or level, yeah, level 4, casting his ult, level 5, spamming you, hey, you're just going to waste some mana, so, that, of course. We're going to look at his abilities now, while they are actually on a god. Um, and I'm going to throw up the wall, that way... You know, since that's probably going to be what you're doing most of the time. We'll have to see what that looks like when the abilities are going through it. And hit the gods. Pretty cool there. And his ultimate. Okay, well, we're going to try that again. I clicked it once. Is it on it? No, because I don't know what happened there. <laughs> we're going to try that one again. It's a pretty cool ultimate. Uh, I like how his, uh, if you noticed, he it's more digital. Well, I mean, it's all digital. But um, he was kind of like typing on like the smart board. Just pay attention to his hands. It's pretty cool. Kind of like typing. Oh, no, he's calibrating it. That's what he's doing. He's calibrating his ult. That's really cool. I like that. That was creative of them. Calibrating thought with all. Um. Honestly, I think this skin has the least effects on the abilities, which is kind of, well, no, because there's actually a lot of effects, that was cool, uh, idle animation, whoa, there's actually a lot of effects, but Thoth already has a lot of effects on his, like, basic skin, like, his abilities just have sound effects, like, with his stun, uh, his evade and punish, oh my god, that fucking ability is ridiculous, but, um, I just think his abilities already look so cool in general. It, it'd be hard to really do anything to Ambum and like other gods like Bastet. It's just she just jumps and whips. So like adding electronics to that is gonna make it cooler. Adding electronic effects to a god that already has a lot of cool effects that happen to be that electronic vibe 
kind of. It's not going to do a whole lot there, but the skin still looks cool to me. The, the effects are still cool. It's just, it wasn't a big up step like the other skins were. I think the Neath skin and the On Her, they were big up steps with the In Hands. The In Hands are really cool, though. I do like those. Like I said, the whole kit's cool. The, the calibrating of the ult's really creative. I like it. And I like that they actually changed the ult. Uh, so, he doesn't freaking spam all you now. But, um... Yeah. I think overall the abilities are cool, and I'm down for the skin. So that is going to wrap up this entire video, guys. Those are all the skins. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe for more content. Social media links are in the description, including Twitch, which you should definitely follow me on. And be sure to download the PTS server so Smite can figure this out. Smite, they need our help. Download the PTS, play it, experiment, try the skins. Let them know what you think if something needs are balanced or unbalanced in, in that case. And let them know so we can get this patch. So we can get all the patches as soon as we possibly can. That is going to wrap it up, guys. Thank you for the support, and I'll see you again soon.